my name's David Manley. I'm from Daytona Beach, Florida. I was born and raised there and uh, moved here to Atlanta about 30 years ago. Been here ever since and this is where my family lives now, my immediate family. Um, I was in the Army, joined the Army out of high school, out of Daytona Beach, because they asked me what I wanted to do. Uh, at the time, I was on my way out the door to go surfing, and I said, oh, I like to surf. And he goes, well, what kind of job would you like to have? I said, well, I'd, I like to, I was into art, so I want to be an illustrator. And so the recruiter says, what if I told you you could join the Army and be an illustrator and live in Hawaii? Would you be interested? I go, sure. So uh, it turns out the, um, the recruiters, you know, got back to me and said, well, this happens to be a forward unit. This is the 25th Infantry Division, and we really don't have illustrators in this combat unit. So what else do you like to do? I said, well, I like to fly. And he goes, what if I said you could be in the Army, live in Hawaii, and be, you know, and fly in helicopters? Would you be interested? I go, sure. And they delivered, and that's what I did for three years. At first, uh, when I got there, I was assigned a Cobra helicopter, attack helicopter, AH-1G. So I was the crew chief on that, and I didn't get to fly because it was a two-pilot aircraft. My buddies were all over in the first and second flight platoon, and they were in Hueys, and they were, they were crew chiefs. And so they got to go every time the bird went up, and they said, hey, you need to come on over here. So after a brief stint in the third flight platoon, I moved over to the first flight platoon, and I got to fly on the door of a Huey for my whole uh, time there in Hawaii. One of the coolest things I can think of is you did a lot of maneuvers on the Big Island. So we'd fly from Oahu to uh, the Big Island and, you know, uh, live fire and things like that. And when we were um, done, you know, we'd have to fly back, but at the same time, we'd drop off vehicles. So some of the vehicles would have to wait till an Air, Fo Air Force transport would come and get them. And so a few of us were left behind. So we took a deuce and a half, a Jeep and, a, and, a, and a, like a pickup truck today and drove up to the top of um, Mauna Kea where they have the observatories. And we had a guy, he had to, cause the air got so thin, it was 14,500 feet. And he had to sit on the front and tweak the carburetor as we were going up in this deuce and a half. But we got up to the top and there was snow on the ground. We were above the clouds and there was the observ observatories. And we just said, hey, what, you know, got out knocked on the door and some scientists opens and goes, hey man, what's up? Took us inside, gave us the tour, showed us how they work, you know, and, and, and did that whole experience. So that was probably one of the coolest things I did there. Besides get to fly every day around Oahu, I took away from the military that what it actually is really good for, for a young man who may not know what he wants to do or, you know, doesn't have a really good direction. Um, it, it provides discipline, it provides, you know, direction, it gives you focus, it lets you grow up a little bit. Well, I was a, you know, a scout leader, all my boys were scouts, my youngest an Eagle Scout. And so, the guiding principles of that, you know, be honest, be true to yourself, you know, always try to be a good person. Those are the things I'd want my grandkids to take away, you know, be the best person they can and always make good decisions. Mm -hmm.